Messenger apps are making a comeback. The likes of MSN Messenger, ICQ, and AOL Instant Messenger fell out of favor at the end of the 2000s as users switched to more feature-rich social networks, but now IM tools are back in fashion and installed on every smartphone and there's a glut of them around. Number 1. Facebook Messenger. With close to 1.5 billion users on the books at Facebook, it seems the obvious place to start our roundup. Facebook now treats Messenger as something distinct and different from the main Facebook app, and it seems to be adding new features all the time, you can make free calls over Wi-Fi, set up group conversations, swap photos and videos and more. The best bit is that most of your friends and family are probably already on it. Free on Android and iOS. Number 2. Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts may be laggy and difficult to use at times, apparently a brand new version is just around the corner, but it crosses platforms like nothing else, whether inside a web browser or on a mobile phone, you know you're going to be able to get at Google's messaging app. This being Google, the cloud backend is very solid, and there's support for group chats, stickers, voice calls, video conferences and more. Free on Android and iOS. Number 3. Apple iMessage. Apple's messaging app is, as you might expect, limited to Apple hardware, you're going to need an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch to be able to plug into iMessage, it works on Mac laptops and desktops as well. If you find that everyone you want to talk to is on iMessage, and you don't have any friends on Android, then there's a lot to like, photo and video support, video and audio calls, group chats, and so on. Free on iOS. Number 4. WhatsApp. WhatsApp had become so big and so popular by February 2014 that Facebook decided to pay $16 billion for it, despite having a very decent IM app of its own. It now has more than 800 million active users, and while it offers all of the key features you would expect from a messaging client, what really appeals is its simplicity and its vibrant interface. The developers recently added an online browser client too. Free on Android and iOS. Number 5. Twitter. Twitter isn't primarily an instant messaging app but secretly it would like to be note how the app recently lifted the 140 character restriction on direct messages, which means your chats can be as long as you like, and involve several people at once. If you want something that's even more IM focused, give the unofficial direct messenger for Twitter a try, which focuses on the DM section of the app and nothing else. Free on Android and iOS. Number 6. Instagram. Like Twitter, Instagram is more famous for everything it does besides instant messaging, but again the IM component has been given several upgrades recently, and it's actually quite an effective way of keeping in touch with people, especially if you like arty, filtered photos. You can communicate privately with pictures, video, or text, forward on images you've found in the stream, and set up group conversations as well. Free on Android and iOS. Number 7. Kick. While it's not as well known as the major players in the market, Kick still boasts some 240 million users across the world, which is an impressive achievement. Group chats, easy access to photos and videos, plus special filters that let you pick who you want to talk to all make Kick an excellent instant messaging app and unlike some of the other apps here you can sign in with a username rather than your mobile number. Free on Android and iOS. Number 8. Viber. Viber is another up and coming instant messenger ready to challenge the big names in the field, and it includes everything from free video calls, on Wi-Fi, to fun stickers, most of which you'll have to pay for. There's support for group messages with up to 200 people, a desktop app and even integrated games, making Viber one of the most comprehensive and well-developed messaging platforms out there at the moment. Free on Android and iOS. Number 9. Skype. We should definitely mention Microsoft's Skype app, even if it's known best as a video and audio calling tool it includes a basic instant messaging component as well, 
so you can easily start text-based chats in addition to talking face-to-face -face with your contacts, in a digital sense. This being Skype, you know the app's going to be available on just about every platform out there and run without a hiccup most of the time. Free on Android and iOS. Number 10. Line. Definitely one of the most ambitious messenger apps in our roundup, Line claims it reshapes communication about the globe, although its features and functions are very similar to the other tools we've mentioned. One notable component it does have that sets it apart is a keep section for storing photos, emails, and documents you want to have easy access to. There's also a Facebook-style timeline for each user. Free on Android and iOS. Number 11. WeChat. WeChat doesn't stray far from the standard instant messaging template but is still well worth checking out anyway, the usual combination of calls, stickers, chats, and group messages are here, and you also get a smart watch app for Android Wear or the Apple Watch included, there's a desktop client too. You get your own moments page within the app that works a little bit like your Facebook profile. Free on Android and iOS. Number 12. Telegram. Our final app is one for the privacy conscious, Telegram's main selling point is the way it encrypts your data so no one can snoop in on your chats, whether that's a rogue hacker or a government spy. Aside from that, you can chat from just about any device you like, including tablets, desktops, and laptops, and the developers have guaranteed the app will always be free with no advertising or subscription packages. Free on Android and iOS. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment and share this video, as our channel is new and your help is appreciated.